YouTubers are the new Shakespeare's. In this series, I, Liam Williams, a man who has, on over three separate occasions, described the internet unironically as a sort of modern Wild West in terms of its regulation, will be meeting them. <laughs> Each week, I'll be taking a different challenge as I try to become more like them and hopefully win a £10,000 prize. I arrived at the YouTuber's management agency, Beam, to receive my final challenge from James Worm. James is running a little bit late, so we've got right. five minutes. Thanks. Your challenge this week is the thorny issue of... Drum roll, please, clowns. Ah! Humour. <laughs> you need to make a prank video. <laughs> and we'll upload it onto uniroffle.com and then the people will decide. Is it prank or is it wank? If they say prank, you win yourself 10K. If they vote wank, you can crawl back into your hole, empty-handed. Capish? Capish. <laughs> right, I have a visions meeting at 10.15. So it feels like it's back in the van and off we pop. Good luck, Liam. <laughs> I was feeling low. Last week, my soulmate, Nozomi, had abandoned me. I'm going back to Japan. What? And I learned that James Worm was preventing Millipede from breaking up with Charlie. If I breach the contract, I have to pay £10 million. To make things worse, I had to go and see self-titled alpha vlogger Johnny Jackson, who had given me a hard time during my fitness challenge. Frank! <laughs> Johnny Jackson! I hadn't enjoyed my gym session with the lad pad, but life for Johnny wasn't all about being unnecessarily strong. It was also about doing pranks. Excuse me, love. Excuse me, love. Do you want to see me balls? No. Yeah, yeah, do you want to see me balls? No. My balls! No. My balls! No. My tennis balls! <laughs> Johnny Jackson. We saw your sign that you had up on the door there with a word crossed out. What was the crossed out word. Gays. Uh, I used to say gays. Right, why is it crossed out? Well, it's the 20th century, isn't it? And Crooksy, you remember Crooksy? Crooksy? I do, yeah. Yeah, uh, Crooksy is gay. Right. So I don't want to hurt his feelings. <laughs> Johnny Jackson. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Talk to <laughs> Why do you love pranking so much? I don't. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Bah! <laughs> Got ya. Prank. That was a prank? <laughs> yeah, that was a prank. You pranked me already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's the end of the interview. Did that, was that That your was prank? a prank. You caught me. <laughs> Two out of ten. Caught me in the act. <laughs> Two out of ten. Eliminated. That was terrible, man. Go on, sorry. Ask a question. What makes a good prank? Yeah. That's a good question, man. Um, Thank you. I'll tell you something. I will tell you one thing, right? There's a lot of people on YouTube who say they're pranksters when they really ain't. Like who? I, I ain't got to name any names, but Mickey P keeps uh, copying my pranks. All right, love. Do you want to see my balls? <laughs> <laughs> you mean prank my Mickey P? <laughs> what's, what's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? Hello, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey P prank. <laughs> you mean prank my Mickey P? <laughs> <laughs> Mickey P's just pranked you. <laughs> you know what he does? He keeps calling me out on social media. What does that mean? Well, it means that he keeps calling me out. I'm calling you out, Johnny Jackson. 
But what does it mean? It means what it means, Liam. You know, he keeps calling me out, and I'm going to tell you one thing. If he calls me out one more time, I'm going to call him out. The interview came to an abrupt halt when Johnny received an intriguing WhatsApp message. <laughs> Four. Oh, God. Hey, Crooksy, even you've got to admit, yeah, that's pretty hot. Look at that. Oh, no, she just texted me. She just texted, all right, she wants to meet right now. And where does she want to meet? She just dropped a pin. This is where she dropped the pin. <laughs> pretty weird place to meet, no? Oh, shut up, shut up, gamma boy. Right, here it is. This is it. Yeah. She dropped the pin here. She dropped the pin here. I feel that like peace, that moment before you get the V. Do you That's know what I mean? That's how you feel. Yeah. You think the V's coming? The V's definitely coming. Whoa. Oh, shit. Come on. Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh. Hey, Kay, get here. Come here. Eggs. Oh, my goodness. Ah. Oh. You oh. Right? Oh. Oh. Egg on your face, Johnny. Ricky Bay. I'm calling you out, mate. I'm you. I'm calling you out, mate. I've got four followers off your life. Being called out here. Come on, calling me out. You've been four called followers. out, mate. Who's got a pixel mess of your face? Are you what it said? You've been called out! You've been called out! Yo, you're calling me out! I'm calling you out! I'm calling you out! I'm calling you out! Is that what calling out is? Shut up! Where's this girl then? I don't think she's coming. I think Mickey P pranked you. Well, I pranked him now, innit? Let's go! I've got egg in my mouth, it's not cooked! If pranking meant punching someone in the face, I was doomed to fail my challenge. I hoped, though, that meeting up with Charlie would provide the general inspiration I needed. Cool camera. Duh. No. Um, I'm Liam. Drexel, sketches, characters, general funnies, subscriber now. Charlie was going to introduce me to one of his regular collaborators, a YouTube sketch comedian called Drexel. Drexel here, subscriber now. Has anyone seen my glasses? <laughs> you can actually use a pizza crust to unlock your iPhone, which is handy because my hands are pizza. Ah! Hello, police. Yeah, I've just got home and all my flatmates have been murdered. It's the second time this week. How's it going here? Well, we're supposed to be doing a sketch about a funny fly. And whilst we have a fly, it's not a particularly funny one. Why are you not being a funny fly, Charlie? I am. Look, can we just get on with it? Sure. So what's the sketch about? Right, so the premise is, what would it be like if you had a fly as a housemate? Nice. Yo, man, what are you up to? I'm just eating some shit. You? Ugh. I've got a hot date with a uh, fruit fly later. Me think I love her. I'm sorry, man, I can't do this. What's up, Charlie? Look, I've put the fucking dumb costume on. I don't know what his problem is. And why does he have to be Spanish for that one line? I can't work like this, OK, Charlie? You all right, mate? Millie wants to break up with me. Yeah, I don't know. What? What do you mean, you know? I mean... What? Millie... S what? Slow down. Millie wants to break up with you. Yeah, and... Right, you know James Worm? Yeah. Well, like, he won't let her because of, we've got this... Like, we've got this contract thing. A contract? Yeah, and... Oh, no, I've been there, man. I've been in this exact... Si well, not this exact situation, because this is... A very ludicrously specific situation exactly. that you're in, but this, I've been in this general kind of situation and. Yeah. I don't think I want to do this fly sketch. Oh, you don't have to do the fly sketch. Yeah, but it's too late. There's no one else to do it, is there? Hey, man. What are you doing? Just eating the shit. What's in the box? Ah, just a new kitchen appliance. <laughs> Whew. All done. This looks like some electrical wire. <laughs> yeah, because I haven't switched it on yet, have I? <laughs> Drexel here. Subscribe by now. I didn't learn anything from Drexel, but I hoped it would be more useful to meet Millipede's friend Laura Laura's, one of America's biggest prank vloggers. Is Liam. He is doing vlogging challenges as part of a scheme to like help people with anxiety and depression. Hmm. That's not what I'm doing. Where have you got that from? I just sort of assumed. What a specific thing to assume. This is Laura Laura's. She is hey. a YouTube comedian from America. From America? Yeah. I love um, Netflix and 
cool. It's America. Yeah. We were supposed to be doing a funny collab together, but okay. um, I just wasn't feeling vloggy. No, babe, it's fine. We'll do a collab next time I'm over. Get this, James Worm has been calling up all the time. He wants to sign Laura while she's over here. It's actually really sad. I know. It's just like, dude, I don't do agents, okay? It's like, if you want to buy me dinner, just <laughs> send me $400 like a normal person. After Laura had left, Millie told me that James Worm had refused to end her contract, meaning that she'd be trapped in a relationship with Charlie for the next seven years. So there's nothing you can do, huh? I guess I'll just pretend to go out with Charlie for the next seven years. Seven years isn't that long, so... How about your romantic search? Yeah, it's not good either, really. Nozomi is mad at me for missing the flight, and she won't even talk to me now. You should go to Japan and tell her how you feel. <laughs> I can't. I can't afford another plane ticket. Unless I pass my final challenge and win the 10 grand, but I just can't see that happening. I've got to do a prank video. I hate prank videos. Unless the person really deserves it. <laughs> hmm. So, I'm about to go for a drink with James Worm, but what he doesn't know is that I'm wearing a camera. Cheers. Hmm. I've admired you from afar. All those views underneath your videos, 50% me. Yes, I would like a sherry. So give me some dirt on your clients. Yeah, no. I would not say a single word about any of my clients. Polly Sprong is Johnny Jackson's Millipede and Charlie. Ooh. Do you want to come back to my hotel? The promised land. Double bed. Oh. No. My. God. Hello. Now you've told me your secrets, I need to tell you mine. I'm very sexually attracted to clowns. I, I can be a clown. Oh my God, could you? Put this on. And take the rest off. Now dance for me, clown boy. Yeah. Yeah, you're a little clown boy. Incredible. Can we keep this footage, please? Yeah, do what you want with it. I don't want it. Yeah, a little clown boy. Looks like a classic. It's like an old timer. You're feeling it today, huh? Come on, wake up. Wow. Where's that energy of yours? Let's, we could do with a laugh. Let's have a look at uniroffle.com and see if there's any new content out there. It's me, it's my video. I guess that means I passed my final challenge. You know, it'd be a shame if any more of this footage were to turn up on the internet. I told James that if he annulled Millipede's contract, the secrets he disclosed about his clients would not be aired. You got my bank details, yeah? I'm gonna fly this afternoon, so when you get a moment. Cheers. My vlogging journey was over, and a new one was about to begin. I left Beam for the final time, realizing that there's more to vlogging than I'd initially thought. For a whole lonely generation, a vlogger is less a celebrity phenomenon and more a friend or a sibling, someone who's always there for you. Do I now want to be a professional vlogger myself? No. But will I at least now subscribe to a few vloggers and enjoy their work from time to time? Again, no, I've got better things to do. But nevertheless, these vloggers, they're all right by me. <laughs> You're free. The chains are broken. Liam, you did it. It was a collab. What a cool collab. This is goodbye, I suppose. This is goodbye. And to you guys, it'd be weird not having you around, poking into every corner of my life. All right, well. Goodbye. I'll see you on YouTube. Bye. The airport, please. <laughs>